Today we're going to be looking at Yahuwah's Covenant Calendar and how it removes the rubble of tradition. And this is the short edition. Are the scriptures truly accurate? Can we find it within the texts? Are there scriptural characteristics in the Gospels that positively identify the crucifixion year so precise it simply cannot be mistaken? Are you able to verify your beliefs in the scriptures? Do you have the texts to back them up? Does Yahushua's life begin at conception? And what about after the Feast of the Jews? What was Yahushua observing in the tabernacle three days later? And which statutes was Yahushua then fulfilling? Did you know he was not lost? Was there really a midst of the week fulfillment? Or was the crucifixion on Friday, which would nullify the prophecy of Daniel? Was Yahushua a lamb of the first year? Or was he just a lamb of the third year? Have you recognized from scripture the two different calendars that function simultaneously together in the Gospels? That would be fulfilling prophecy. And do you know the Gospels recorded two Passovers in one day? Have you ever heard that Matthew and John's writings declare a phenomenal 12-hour offset at these two specific Passover timings? Do you know all of this information is documented with the dawn-to-dawn -dawn reckoning of Yahuwah's covenant? And that would begin in Genesis 1. And very interesting, what is this question all about? Why did the scribes negotiate business with Pilate on Shabbat? We're going to be looking at this 12-hour offset. The 12-hour offset at Yahushua's Passover is found only on the fourth cycle. And according to Daniel 9.27, Passover must be on a fourth cycle. So if you look on the left side of your screen in the blue box, you'll see Abib 14 on Wednesday. That is the midst of the week. Yahuwah's covenant calendar begins the day with the dawn twilight. And if you look on the left in that red marker, that is where the dawn twilight begins. Yahusha crucified on the tree in this light season. There you see where the arrows mark it out. The lunar solar calendar began its day 12 hours later at sunset. And there is your lunar calendar 12-hour offset marking. This is the unbelieving Jews lunar calendar, which begins with the sunset. And that is according to the Talmud, not according to Torah. And what about Matthew and John? They established from the Gospels the 12-hour offset lunar calendar. And you'll see that point right there in the fuchsia oval. Very clear. How can we be sure about this offset of crucifying Yahusha when the scribes declared not at the festival, lest there be an uproar among the people, of whose festival were they referencing? Their lunar Passover or the Passover of Yahuwah's covenant? Can we count on their steadfastness to their word? Was Yahusha crucified on their lunar Abib 14 or not? Your questions deserve answers. This highly detailed documentation is provided for Common Era 26 to 29 and 31 to 34, with the study link provided below. Check it out for yourself and be ready for the astounding part two. What happens on Common Era 30? Is this special? Is there something incredible? Count on it. There is the link below. Have a look for yourself. Get your answers. Yahuwah marks the sands of time, not man. Questions and comments can be sent to Timothy Asselford at questions at studythecalendar.com. Thank you for your time.